Let me just fix this. We're really the inside looking out, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Man, and everything's been turned upside down. What once was the Meconosaur is now turned into our best ally. If only there was another game that did that. Who knows? Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In the last episode, short, simple, to the point, but music can bring people together and we learn history of the city. Now, in this episode, full pleasantries aside, we might be slightly late, but hey, let's get to the war room. I feel like we've kept her waiting. Bish bash bosh, we're in. Let's go. Off we go. How is this game gonna top itself now? What narrative swerves will we get? Okay then. Sneaking into Agnes Castle, huh? Seems we won't be catching a break anytime soon. So this person who knows where the true queens are... Uh, who was it again? You're looking for Gondor. Ah, that's right. So then, we've just got to find this Gondor, break him out of the prison camp and get the spark out of there. Hmm. Luckily, they don't kill us immediately after we've been captured. We're held beneath the castle, in a detention facility. To perform forced labor? There's that as well. But mostly, it's to set an example. Example? On the day of an eclipse, once a year, they hold a mass execution of prisoners at Hope's Rest, a hill on the castle's south edge. The whole event gets projected high into the sky. That's what you meant. It's to show us we're powerless. And the place they do this is Hope's Rest. What kind of sick joke is that? The next eclipse falls about a month from now. So that's our deadline for what we've got to do. Contact the prisoner and get the intel on the Queens. A month? Mio. Well, no two ways about it. We better get started now. Yeah, and we better hurry. We can't waste a single day. Let's say we make it in without a hitch. Won't the you know what give us away? Uni, I don't think we do know. The red glowing Mobius eye thing. Oh, bad. Those eye patches I gave you? There's a special alloy embedded in them. Long as you got that, you'll be near invisible. Slip clean under their noses. And after we've got the info, how do we get out? You've put the Cavesi Annihilator out of commission. I'm sure you'll think of something. Even if we get out, what about your lot? You don't need to worry about them. They knew the risk. That doesn't make it okay. Yeah, well, that's how we do things. But still. I'll tell you to be prepared to make sacrifices. All right. Huh? However, only as our absolute last resort. Is that fair? That's awfully kind of you. The kind doesn't win wars. There's a Nopon called Samon in engineering. He'll be able to find you a way into the castle. Get the details from him. Mr. Samon's engineering department? Go down the lift near Dolgan Cliff and you'll find it in no time. 
It's the big lift you took to get up here. You know the one? Right. Well, that's it. Ciao! Oh, what? You're not going to show us the way? There's a strategy meeting we have to be at, discussing what to do after the infiltration. Oh, you're infiltrating the prison too? Well, it was originally our plan. I see. Looking forward to working with you then. Yeah, sorry. Not going to be all buddy-buddy with you. Wow, what crawled up his ass? Look at it from their perspective. We essentially took the Ouroboros powers that were originally intended for them. But... What does that have to do with any of this? Let's just play our part for now. We should head to end in engineering. Castle access. So, only natural that we go from one castle to the other. And it looks like the only person who knows the way is an up on cold salmon. Ironically, Spooky likes fish. <laughs> no? Baby? No, no. Well, either way, we're gonna go to a separate region, so hopefully this will be okay. Hell is get to enjoy the metal sounds. Topographical info Sentry's Harbor. <gasps> Oh, guys, time in a place, Jesus! Hmm. Does it look like we can go through here? This is our first time here, isn't it? Well, yes. Oddly quiet. Uh. I feel like I'm getting Xenoblade 2 vibes of all this. Mm-hmm. Oh. And us uh, some boat trips don't end well. No. Okay. But hopefully for at least a brief period we can enjoy this boaty jaunt. With it lasting like more, more than what a minute. It'd be rude not to. Be rude not to steal. This right there, I mean. The water oddly has no animation. That is kind of weird. Excuse me, are you Sama? Hmm, most indeed. And our friends famed Ouroboros? I hear everything from Monica. We'll lend spare ship to friends. No worries. Thank you very much for this. She good ship. The boundary the name of friends feel free to use. Oh, nice piece of kit this. I've never seen a real ship before, except in the textbooks. If friends feeling gratitude can show respect by add Mr. to start of name. Mr. Salmon. Uh, sorry to cut the pleasantry short, but could you tell us more about the infiltration plan? At least ask about boat first. Meh. Bah, fine. Salmon explains, or listen up. Surroundings of Agnes Castle under exceptionally strict guard, nothing to unexpect. Even with most state-of-the-art cloaking device, approached by Lydon's creative with shooting and shouting and short, sharp landing of death and doom and destruction. That's why we plan approach on the route to going around Irafasi. From the sea, hmm? Wait, they discover us in the drink. Then aren't we really royally snuffed? Irafasi shrouded in black fog. If you ship to glide along the surface of sea, will not show up on radar scan from above. Right, good thinking. Before proceed to explain nitty gritty, we must make ship shape shape. Ship ship shape. 
Friends have to help us all. It not run as is. There's not enough fuel for runnage of boundary. Ah, oh, so that's the problem. Sounds like you need some good old fashioned physical labor. Sign me up. Sam and happy to see friends so enthusiastic. Could never hope to even carry 300 EVA cylinder by own cells, so things were looking choppy. 300? Do we really need that many? Friends must remember once the part on ship, they're nowhere to top up before land of destination. That does make sense. Sure, but where the spark are we gonna find that many cylinders? Not here, that's for sure. We pour all the fuel we had into a making prototype. In other words, we have to figure out the whole supply chain from nothing. <laughs> Perish thoughts, friend. Salmon never expect friends could provide alone. Only need to assist associate of Salmon. Would like would friend like to say Timma Timna and explains his situation? And that person can get us the cylinders? Assuredly, team that come from one of six mighty houses. Should be no big deal to part with a hundred Aoife cylinders, or even a thousand. What are these six houses? Very fancy houses in holding of very important people. Alright, got it. Where can we find this Timna? In Callum residential quarter of city. Great, let's go then. Always nice to see a new face. We hope you enjoy Salmon's smirk and also squinting up eyes. People had to animate that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let us go back home to city. I can't stop speaking like Salmon. <laughs> and the more and the more I talk, I'm starting to sound like Maxi from Team Magma from the Pokemon anime. <laughs> <laughs> but I will try and dissuade that. Oh. There's one thing I can say, they have taken credence from the original and Xenoblade 2. They got the serious characters designs down, but I've got the animated emotional expressions from 2. Mm -hmm. Best of both worlds, best of mixes, how many times am I going to say that this series? The answer is too many. You also think they put in some elevator music, you think? And I'm not gonna lie, I do like how they're slightly making fun of the stereotypes of like, Oh, well guess what? You only 300 of thingamajig. Well, get going. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we aren't that anymore. We're not gonna ask you to get so many goddamn rainbow slugs. Oh god. <laughs> no. We're only gonna ask you to get a few things from the big city for big machine friend. This is probably going to be our main fast travel points in this place, simply for the admiration. Mm-hmm. According to Mr. Salmon, Timna's place should be around here. Do you really think she can come up with 300 ether cylinders? Timna's a she? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's Timna, the tall man tailor. Fortune Clovers, well, sign me up. <laughs> As you in with the Fortune Clovers. I'll be all about that. Miss Timna, we've come from an errand from uh, from Salmon. Oh really? And what might he need? Well, he's found himself quite urgently needing a large quantity of fuel, so... I don't need the preambles, duck. This is Salmon we're talking about. I'm sure he's got a whole lot of guff to sell me. Well, I wouldn't quite... It's quite alright. What's he after? Tell me plainly. 300 e for cylinders. Planning something big again, isn't he? Not to worry. I'll have them prepared. Or, well, I'd love to do that for you, but lately conservative bot have been buzzing around. Such a pain. The truth is, we haven't been able to scare a surplus sub for ourselves either. The conservative what now? They're, they're the people who don't wel or welcome war, perhaps. It seems you know enough to recognize not all of this great city's people think the same way. Some are happy to remain spectators in the conflict taking place outside our door, not fight Mobius to maintain the status quo. 
They want nothing more than to steal the city's hatches, build up our defenses. Lots of conservative people like that here. But do pardon an old woman for that tangent. We we're talking about ether cylinders. Their law has been stockpiling more than they need. All just to cock to snook at us. You should get what you need from them. Huh? Didn't you just say you didn't like each other? That doesn't mean there aren't any sensible people on that side, too. I see. So, even your separate factions are compromised of varying types, then? Well, maybe we, we should pay a visit to one of these sensible people, then. Please do. Speak to Miori. She's the person in charge of the material storage warehouse. If you tell her that the Nopon's needs are many, the, conser the, con the conversation should go smoothly. The Nopon's needs are many. The material storage warehouse is outside the city. Mind how you go. Understood. Thanks for your help. You Manana need me. not speak a word. <laughs> Protect Nupon for at all costs. Also, I'm pretty sure the dialogue just skipped because you took full damage. It's so different from where they've got us staying. The place Timna lives. It's so different from where they've got us staying. I dare say, being in one of those six houses sets one apart from most of the city residents, too. Or, it could be a sequel to a Tactical's game that I got released a few years ago. <laughs> Except now it's even more cumbersome and even more roots. Oh dear God. Hey, are you Miori? What? Miss Timna sent us. We're trying to get some ether cylinders. Tim the did? Well, is that all? She didn't give you a message or something? Uh, a message. Don't think I remember anything like that. Right, no deal then. You can leave now. What? Look, this isn't what we were told. I'm a busy gal, okay? Beat it. Hey, wait! Suggest to abandon hope. She give cold his shoulder. Um, oh right, she said to mention the Nopon needs his money. Is that really what she said? To the word, to the letters? Are you sure? Huh, uh, was it needs or many instead? Yes, now I get it. I'll get them ready for you. Really? Thanks so much. Great success. I see. So that's what she meant by the con the conversation going smoothly. Huh? I, I mean this person being Nopon fan. Only reasonable, really. So how many do you need? Um, 300 ether cylinders. Is that manageable? I'll check. Hold tight. Also, don't let anyone near the storage. Sure thing. Don't let anyone near. Pfft, like anyone probably couldn't hear without a rock solid reason. It sounded like the faction she belongs to doesn't want any involvement with us. I imagine she doesn't want to be suspected of helping Ouroboros. <laughs> well then, should we give her a hand? The faster it's done, the sooner we can be out of her air. Oh god, moral choices. Well, it's up to you. For me, uh, I mean, I'd like to imagine we would be able to stand guard if we stay put. So, maybe? She said not to let anyone near. I would assume that includes us. Yeah, let's keep us like we were told. Huh? Something up, Mimi? I just heard something. It's coming this way. Whoa, check them out. Why are they so big? Let's hang them out before things get messy. I'm with you. I get the sinking feeling it wouldn't have mattered if we did anything or not, but here we are. Let's fly Redding Anzals. Same friend applies. Do not get near the edges, otherwise you can kiss your butt bye bye Also... 
I get the sinking feeling that that is reminiscent to something from the original game. Something pretty big if you ask me. As in like something that contains a whole lot of ether cylinders. Yeah. But that is the only way in which we can keep a soccer fuel in reserve! <laughs> But, you know, hey-ho. Also, I'm kind of more curious now about these six houses. Ooh. Monolith tees of possible Easter eggs. Yeah. Oh no, man. I'm just that... I'm just the kind of person... Sorry, I bumped the mic there. I honestly am just one of people who look for possible connections, especially in, in a multiple running series. Yeah. Especially when it's done by Monolith because they don't bring any of these things out unless it really matters. Unless it's called your Cosmos, which can screw you. <laughs> but hey ho! That was another game, another time, and another world. Possibly even another life. Either way though, let's just take him out. Ah, <sighs> Hansels. Sometimes you're so annoying you just think you just think you see and froth at the mouth. <laughs> well, Ain't got too much longer. Take you down and take you out. I heard a ruckus out here. Anything you need to worry about? Not even slightly. Nobody's here. Right. I've prepared the ether cylinders. Take them and go. Thanks. Shabby of a cylinder, CB of a Oh my god. <laughs> I, I love that. 99, 99, 99. Plus three. Because <laughs> there's a cat. <laughs> 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 oh, the sense of humor the monolith has in the smallest ways. And finally, we have reached level 50. And therefore, it's from main six, we get extra support slots. And also, I've just realized. <laughs> yeah, and you've realized it the same thing as me. Yeah. Oh, Zeon, hopefully you won't get the shaft. Should be done with the ether cylinders now. Let's get back to Mr. Salmon. A ship, huh? I'm on board for that. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Boo this cute a tiny woman and her punny and baking skills. Uh I approve. But also I don't know what a dialogue is starting to repeat itself. Repeat itself? I mean when you jumped back in the city, you made the dialogue repeat. Mm -hmm. And now I would just did the same thing again. <laughs> Probably because it was coming in and out of the menu, so it was making sure you didn't skip it or miss it. Mm hmm. Still, it's a little bit weird that it started doing it now for some reason. Mm hmm. This is the world that we live in. Really? That it? Yes, I know. Off we go. It's a world of confusion. Well, what do you want? <laughs> the land of confusion. <laughs> In the land of confusion. We're singing two very different tunes, we are. <laughs> Uni, could you jump over that? Yeah. <laughs> I may be fair, in the context of the world, she's still a growing woman, so, you know, those kind of reactions are expected. That container. Stop marking us with the containers! Job well done. Salmon pull all nighter to install. Expect to be ship shaped by tomorrow morning. That soon? Salmon never flounder. Always get job done. Thank you so much. Thank you, not necessary. Salmon is fixer upper by trade. What's that? Ah, this is Ultimate Vessel. Ultimate Vessel? That right. 
Even Vortex in Raging Great Sea not slow advance. It'd go down in history as Queen of Boats. Still work in progress, but sure to bring to fruition someday. It's someone's dream. Wow. Why play ominous music at the very end of that? That's what I was wondering. Oh no, the great ship of freedom. It bad thing, it mysterious thing. As if anticipating a ship's gonna be the final boss. Well, I've heard of weirder things. There, Mio, we got, we got the container, you happy now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, either way, guys, I think we're going to end things there. Thank you very much for watching. We got the ship back in tip-top ship shape. I cannot wait to give it a spin. Go on a boaty jaunt. Enjoy your boaty jaunt. Please do not crash ship into other big giant creature and then force Salmon to want to kill himself. <laughs> Jump off cliff and then make him want to drown in cloud sea. It works in context of Xenoblade 2, all right? Give me a freaking break. But... Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And of course, if you want to follow us on this Xenoblade Chronicles 3 journey, then please subscribe to see more, and we'll see you next time in which we hit the ocean. You know, the seemingly non-animated but prettily lit ocean. See you next time.